In this video, we will show you how to install and set up your LED screen. Products used in this video are the DMT E12.5 screen, DMT LED screen processor LS125, and the LED Studio software. The DMT LS125 is a video processor with built-in lens and sending card, and an onboard media player. It has two USB ports for playing images and video files directly from your processor. It also has the functionality to make a scheduled playlist for your images or video files. The E12.5 screen is a lightweight rental LED screen with a high transparency and a very flexible rigging system, which allows for curved setups. The optional rigging bar must be used for a safe rigging setup. The LED Studio software is available as a free download on the LS125 product page. Now we show you how to install LED Studio software and how to configure your LED screen together with the LS125 video processor. Always make sure all cables are connected before you switch on the LED screen processor. Use the included DVI link cable to link the output from the LED screen processor with the DVI input of the sending card. LED Studio software needs a so-called sending card in order to work. DMT video processors are all equipped with a built-in sending card. Connect the USB port of the sending card to your PC. Connect a video source, for instance, the DVI input. Connect your LED screen with the U output port of the sending card. Now you can switch on the LED screen processor and press the DVI button on the front to select your DVI input. The green LED from the sending card and the green LED on the LED screens need to flash. This will show that the data transmission from sending card to the LED screens is correct. Install the LED Studio software on your PC. Double click the LED Studio installation icon. Follow the steps to install LED Studio software. The serial code is 6x8. Connect USB cable on your laptop. Start the LED Studio software. Go to Option and select Software Setup. Now we need to recall a hidden menu. To do so, type in L-I-N-S-N -S on your keyboard. A pop-up will appear asking for a password. Type in 168. Again, we need to recall a hidden menu. To do so, type in L I N S N. A pop-up will appear asking for a password. Type in 168. Before we continue, we first reset the sending card to default setting. Press the default button. Click to save. Now click Display Connection. You need to tell the software how many LED screens are used in your setup. In our setup, we have used four LED screens wide and two LED screens high. 
The amount of LED screens is set in horizontal card and vertical card. Click on the first LED screen in your setup, looking at your LED screen from the front. The first LED screen is the one that is connected to the sending card. In our setup, it's the upper left hand corner. Set the amount of pixels per LED screen. In our setup, we use the E12.5 screens. E12.5 screens have 32 pixels wide and 64 pixels high. The number of pixels are the amount of LEDs in your LED screen. Now click the next LED screen in the setup. This is a screen that is linked with the first panel. Follow the daisy chain until you reach the end of the data line and all LED screens are patched. When everything is set, press the send to receive a button to send the information to the LED screens. If your LED screen is in correct order, press the button Save to Receiver to save your settings inside the LED screen. When the settings are saved, you can close the LED Studio software. Your LED screen is now patched and ready for use. If your input image is too large, you can scale it down to the actual pixel size of your LED screen. Learn how in our next video. Thank you for watching this tutorial. More DMT tutorials are available on the Vimeo Highlight TV channel.